board meeting. Uh, we welcome you all. We want to uh, take a moment to uh, recognize Deputy Stewart in the back. Thank you for being in place, sir. And we also want to take a, an opportunity to uh, ask you if you have cell phones or any other electronic devices, if you would please put them on silence or turn them off so they would not become a distraction during the meeting. Uh, with that being said, we'd like to ask Ms. Gramp to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, if you all would please stand. Thank you, Ms. Gramp. The chair will now entertain a motion to adopt uh, the agenda for this evening. So moved. moved by Ms. Blaylock. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Shelley. Uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposes? The agenda is adopted with a 7-0 vote. We have no public hearing this evening, nor do we have a instructional highlight, so we'll move on to 4.01, PGA grant recipient, Ms. Flanard. Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the board, Dr. Baker and Dr. Martin. At this time, we would like PGA Executive Director, Mr. John Gould and MAPGA President, Matthew Schultz, to come forward, as well as our Student Support Services staff, Michelle Swisher and Lisa Morton. This evening, we are pleased to share that the PGA is presenting Spotsylvania County Public Schools Homeless Student Fund a donation in the amount of $10,000. This money will be uh, helpful to support and stock our food pantry and to support our economically disadvantaged students and their families. We would like to thank you for your commitment to our students and families of Spotsylvania County and we greatly appreciate your support. And at this time, I do believe that MAPGA President Mr. Schulz would like to say a few words. Mr. Schulz. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you for letting us come this evening. Uh, the PGA and the MAPGA, the Mid-Atlantic PGA, uh, has always had a tradition of trying to give back to the communities they work within. And while we're not headquartered in Spotsylvania County, Gulf is. Uh, I work at Kings Mill Resort, so I'm in Williamsburg, live in Richmond. John lives uh, locally. But just the opportunity to be able to give back to those who need uh, and the fact that Gulf can raise money and give back to the communities that we're in is just such a blessing for everybody. So we just appreciate you letting us come tonight and make a generous donation. We want to really, once again, thank the PGA for their generous donation. Uh, we probably could have used a few lessons uh, a couple weeks ago <laughs> when we were on our, uh, in that golf tournament. Uh, <laughs> so thank you, gentlemen, for uh, your uh, uh, generous presentation and, and, and award. We're really appreciative of your donation. Thank you very much. And we, we will be looking for lessons down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to 5.01 public comments, Dr. Martin. Good evening. The public comment segment of our board meetings is a time to receive recommendations, suggestions, concerns, and comments from the general public. Each speaker is allotted five minutes, and we ask that they clearly state the name, address, and or voting district for the board. A speaker may request additional time from the board should one's five-minute allotment expire. We ask that you keep your comments focused on the issues and that all speakers maintain a level of decorum and mutual respect for one another. At this time, I don't think we have any speakers signed up, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the board? Anyone that would like to address the board, please come forward. 
Seeing none, we'll close public comments. Move to board member comments. We'll start with Ms. Gramp. I have no comment. Mr. Blaine. Mr. Twig. Hey, I uh, would like to thank everybody that participated from the uh, admin side and our school board side out at the uh, Stars and Stripes Festival this, this year. Uh, we brought the, the school board out this year to, to stand beside the uh, dunking booth, and uh, we had a few. We were in a great spot, had a few people uh, come up. Uh, we'll uh, work on a few improvements. But uh, I just thought it was good that we were out there, and I was glad to participate, and I enjoyed seeing everybody out there. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Mr. Twig. Ms. Blaylock. No comment. Mr. Marr. Dr. Marr, excuse me. No comment. Thank you. And Ms. Shelley. No comment. And I have no comment either. We'll move on to uh, superintendent's comments. I think I have no formal report this evening. Thank you, sir. Any moving to 6.01 board committee reports, any board committee reports? Seeing none, 7.01 through 7.05 consent agenda, Dr. Uh, Martin. On the consent agenda this evening are the approval of the minutes of the June 27th, 2016 regular meeting, donations which are usual and customary, approval of bus service on private roads to Carriage Hill, Children of America, Mount Hope Baptist Church, Salem Fields Learning Center, and Lake Wilderness 1 and 2, the approval of the 2016-17 calendar of events, and the approval of the 2017 budget amendment number one, appropriating funds for the Bridges grant for fiscal year 2017. Staff asked that the consent agenda be approved. Thank you, sir. Do we have a motion on the floor to accept the consent agenda? I will make a motion to accept the consent agenda. Thank you, Ms. Shelley. Do we have a second? Seconded second by Mr. Blaine. Uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposes? Seeing none, motion carries 7-0. Uh, we have no action items for this evening. 9.01 informational items. Ms. Lennard, usual and customary. Thank you. Do we have any unfinished business? Unfinished business. Seeing none, any new business? Seeing none, thank you. Uh, we'll move on to uh, close, uh, close session. We resolve that the board conduct a closed meeting for the following purposes. Consideration of candidates for employment, assignment, promotion, demotion, and discipline of employees or resignation of employees who have a contractual commitment to the board as permitted by 2.2-3711A1 of the Code of Virginia and meet in the absence of the superintendent as permitted by 22.1-69 of the Code of Virginia. We have a motion. So moved. moved by Ms. Blaylock, seconded? Second. Seconded by Ms. Shelley. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposes? Hearing none, we are now in closed session. Motion to return to open session by Ms. Shelley, second. second by Ms. Blaylock. All in favor? Aye. Any opposes? Hearing none, the motion carries 7-0. We're back in open session. Uh, certification of closed meeting. Whereas the Spotsylvania County School Board has convened a closed meeting on this date pursuant to an affirmative recorded vote and in accordance with the provisions of the Virginia Freedom of Information Act and whereas Section 2.2-3711 of the Code of Virginia requires a certification by this school board that such a closed meeting was conducted in conformity with Virginia law. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Spotsylvania County School Board hereby certifies that, to the best of each member's knowledge, 
Only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements under this chapter and only such public business matters as were identified in the motion by which the me closed meeting was convened were heard, discussed, considered in the meeting. We have a motion. So moved. moved by uh, Dr. Meyer, seconded by Mr. Blaine. Uh, roll call vote starting with Ms. Graham. Graham, aye. Blaine, aye. Twig, aye. Braswell, aye. Blaylock, aye. Meyer, aye. Shelley, aye. Motion carries 7 0. Uh, 12.02, I mean, excuse me. Um, items from closed meeting 13.01, Dr. Martin. Mr. Chairman, there are two motions coming out of closed session. The first is that the school board accepts the recommendation of the superintendent for personnel appointments, assignments, transfers, resignations, and retirements as presented in closed meeting and per permitted by section 2.2-37A1 of the Code of Virginia. I'll make a motion to accept that. The, I Thank you, Ms. Shelley, and seconded by Ms. Blaylock. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposes? Hearing none, motion carries 7-0. And Mr. Dr. 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 Meyer has the second motion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, on a motion uh, with the superintendent's concurrence, the school board shall terminate the superintendent's contract ending June 30th, 2018, and appoint Dr. S. Scott Baker as superintendent to a term of four years beginning July 1st, 2016, ending June 30th, 2020, as discussed in closed meeting permitted by Code of Virginia 2.23711A1. Thank you, Dr. Meyer. Mr. Braswell, I'd like to make the motion. A motion to second by Ms. Blaylock, and it's been probably moved and seconded. We'll have a roll call vote starting with Ms. Shelley. Shelley, aye. Meyer, aye. Blaylock, aye. Braswell, aye. Twig, aye. Blaine, aye. Gramp, aye. Thank you. Motion carries 7 0. 14.01 uh, adjournment. We have a motion. I move to adjourn. Uh, moved by Ms. Gramp. Seconded? Second. Seconded by Ms. Shelley. All in favor? Uh, Motion, uh, motion carries 7 0. Meeting is adjourned.
board meeting. Uh, we welcome you all. We want to uh, take a moment to uh, recognize out at the uh, Stars and Stripes Festival.